distillation process is taking place. Crude oil is supplied to a furnace before the distillation tower, where crude oil is heated and vaporized and it becomes the crude oil mixture. The vapor and liquid mixture is then fed into the bottom section of the tower. The feed section is the hottest point in the distillation tower and can reach as high as 400 degrees C. Components that are still liquid at this elevated temperature become the tower's bottom product. Components that are in vapor form rise up the tower through a series of distillation stages. The temperature decreases as the vapors rise through the tower and the components condense. The yield from a distillation tower refers to the relative percentage of each of the separated components, known as product streams. Products from the distillation tower range from gases at the top to very heavy, viscous liquids at the bottom. In all cases, these product streams are still considered unfinished and require further processing to become useful products. Light products, light ends are further separated into propane, normal butane, and isobutene. This stream is often referred to as liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, and is sold as a cooking and heating fuel. Naphtha could be blended into motor gasoline, but is more likely sent to a catalytic reforming unit for octane improvement. Kerosene is generally treated and used as jet fuel. Heavier distillate streams are also treated and blended into finished diesel fuel or home heating oil or are further processed in conversion units such as fluidized catalytic cracking and hydrocracking. The routing of these streams will vary as product demand changes to either maximize diesel production or gasoline production. Lowest end of columns, asphalt, 